Hi, today we're going to have a look at how to create HTML tooltip with jQuery. The tooltip will work this way. When we mouse over specific text within the uh, content of our page, you can see we see the tooltip. If we click on it, it's going to stay on a page. Now if we click on the tooltip itself, it's going to disappear. The same about the text uh, based tooltips. Again, click, we can click on the uh, trigger again and it's going to disappear as you can see here we've got image we've got some h1 tag we've got also paragraphs so it's like basically fully formatted HTML now if we go back to our editor together with the exercise files you have CSS file inside of the CSS folder you have images folder without any image obviously you're going to have to you going you're gonna have to source some image for yourself then we have index.php and JS folder with uh, latest version of jQuery and core.js file, which is currently blank. If we now open index.php, you can see the basic structure of the page is already created for us. We have already our uh, JavaScript files included as well as our core.css. So now to start inside of the body section, we're going to start with a div tag with the ID of wrapper. Inside of the wrapper, we are going to put some content and I'm going to do it by simply using one of the plugins here in Coda. I'm going to use one paragraph and I'm going to now create a few tooltips. Now, the way we're going to be building tooltips uh, is we're going to create separate containers, hidden containers, rather than applying actually content, putting the content of the tooltip uh, to the one of the uh, attributes of the link, let's say, or any other tag, uh, because, for instance, links, uh, if we were about to put our content of a tooltip into the title attribute of a link, we cannot really put any HTML tags there because uh, obviously HTML tags aren't allowed within the uh, title attribute. So in order to create a proper, fully functional and obviously one which validates tooltip, uh, we will have to put it in a separate container. So we're going to create two containers. First one will be div with the ID of lacrosse match uh, content with the class tooltip uh, hyphen target and for this one we're going to do style uh, with will be 250 pixels which is exactly same as the image inside of this specific uh, tooltip so we're now we're going to put the image source and obviously put the path to your image uh, in my case it's image uh, forward slash lacrosse actually do you know what rather than trying to put it correctly here I'm just going to drag it onto the page because I tend to misspell things as you most probably are aware by now now uh, alt attribute lacrosse match and we have width and height now I'm also going to put style margin bottom I'm going to make it seven pixels so that the text under the image doesn't really touch the the bottom edge of the image now I'm going to put some h1 uh, tag we won that game and please do not laugh um, I can't be any more creative than that for, for the time being uh, lacrosse team has won this game but which one doesn't really matter okay so here we go this is our first tooltip then we go for another one which will be diff with the id of random content then we go for the class tooltip hyphen target and inside of this one we'll simply put one uh, random heading and some random text some random content let's say okay so these are our tooltips now our triggers will use the first element without the hyphen content basically they, they will match the same id without the hyphen and content so our trigger for instance for this specific lacrosse match hyphen content will have the id of lacrosse hyphen match so i'm going to use one of the words here for instance i'm just going to put lacrosse match and now i'm going to create the the a tag href with the hash inside of it and then we go for the id which is lacrosse match and class uh, 
will equal uh, tooltip because we need to recognize obviously tooltip which which part of the uh, content basically is about to be triggering the tooltip so this is one of our triggers now let's go for another word and this time we're going to use spun with a class tooltip as well and we have to obviously close this spun and this one will have the ID simply random. As you may remember, we will be adding this hyphen content to find the relevant tooltip. So ID random. So now we are ready to move to the next video when we actually triggering all these uh, tooltips using JavaScript.